Greetings, everyone. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. And before I go on to do my next video talk show, I am stopping by from my immediate area off Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, the one and only, the famous Bendix Diner, as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld Netflix series, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. That's right. It is in my close area, and, and it, I love it here. Outstanding food, outstanding coffee, and I will go in soon before I go on to do my next show. Okay. James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions here. And uh, aside from the famous Bendix Diner in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, Route 17 South, right behind the famous Teterboro Airport, where everyone with private jets lands who wish to visit New York City. I, we are right next door directly next door to the famous Bananas Comedy Club in the Holiday Inn on Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey. And there it is. The famous Bananas Comedy Club with a very highly rated Gabriel's Restaurant. I don't know why you and Ray are fighting over it. <laughs> you know what, you know what I, I honestly miss because I was busy with my mom I miss yeah and you should have seen how filthy the table was when I got here I uh, I, I went and what and did wet the thing and I mean uh, it was absolutely sure. filthy don't have anybody cleaning this table any table all tables you know you know what I missed on CNN I missed uh, whatever Rudy Giuliani had to say about Kavanaugh well, he never has He's lost it. He's he looks like a troll with no neck. I, 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 I get Sull worse than Ed Sullivan. I, 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 I. He's a quarry guy, Michael Slate or whatever his name is. <laughs> Brian Slate. Brian Slate. Now, now he's a bail bondsman in Hackensack. Oh God. He owns the bail bondsman. Yeah. I told him, why don't you call Big Balls Brian bail bondsman? Can't use names like that. They wouldn't take you seriously. I mean, clientele would, would tend to... Yeah, not like, the legal system would let you do that. I wonder where old Gumbo is. Well, the, the festival on Main Street in Lodi yesterday, there was a truck selling um, these rice balls, and, and there was a cartoon on the truck that says, Eat My Balls. Yeah, well, that's for a food truck. It's different from the yeah. legal system. Legal system, yeah, because he's tied into it, yeah. Oh wow, these planes are, doesn't matter how overcast it is, or cloudy or rainy, these planes come and go. Oh my god, they have electronics coming out their, their wazoo. I know all the pilots. Are. That was my, my, a couple of weeks ago, those planes, that jet that blew its tires, those were my two buddies. I said, Bill, you, you knew it? I said, I knew right away. I said, oh god. It's it's nice it's nice to talk to people with education and class like those guys like you know like pilots. Oh uh, yeah. There was something else I forgot. Those damn those damn glazed chicken uh, breast tend they're still pushing that promotion. Well, they have to. It's brand new. Yeah. I mean, they're trying to, but it won't sell. You watch. It's going to be a big get rid of lower prices. What? Yeah. Well, like I told you, the time that Burger King had barbecued pulled pork sandwiches, two for five dollars, and they were loaded with pork. I mean, they were like healthy. Yeah, but this is not loaded. These are over a dollar yeah. per little wing. That's yeah, but I'm just saying that was a value. Well, this is not. Yeah. So, and neither was their, their what do you call it, wings. A year or so ago, they had to get dump them. They had a warehouse filled. They did not know what to do. Well, donate them to a soup kitchen. No, you lower the price. That's what you do. What else can you do? Well, when I work with seafood, 
you know, fish is goes bad in 48 hours. Yeah, but this is not fish. This is chicken. Yeah. They said they had a warehouse right. filled. But, but I'm. But I I'm, forget how many tens of millions of wings. What I'm saying is, when you have a, per a perishable item, you lower the price. Like you, you don't just overprice it to start with. Whoever thought of that price? I mean, whoever thought the public is going to pay this? I would be. See, oh, so they're not going to pay this. Honestly, they're not going to pay this price. It's it's much cheaper to get an equivalent of Popeyes, and you're getting Louisiana Cajun seasoned batter. And you're probably getting better buying it frozen in a grocery store. Yeah. Their stuff is great. Still, the best fries I've had of all these fast foods is still Orida. It's frozen. You put it on a baking sheet. You undercook or overcook according to what you want. Right. They're great. And if you happen to be lucky enough to have a new wave oven, you do it in it. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. But I mean, what I'm saying is you can do what you want. These places charge an arm and a leg. And uh, how much return business, I wonder, do you really get? Well, you're talking about a common sense approach to running a business. It doesn't take well, they don't genius. Think. You don't have to be a well, genius. It sure seems like it takes genius because they don't seem to know what they're doing. They have problems. My God, what we had going in Supertech One Division was called a restaurant chain. Opening all, we had over, over 100 or something concepts. I don't remember. That, that was one of the Supertech ideas. It was all Food? one of the open chains. Chains of fast food places, and medium, medium quick. Things that nobody had. Nobody had them. <laughs> now that you know, a couple of them are out there now, but it just shows how far ahead of the game we were. Yeah. Well, right, right now that the closest thing to quality fast food has to be Popeyes. One of them we had was called PJ Snicks, and Ray loved it. Snicks. PJ Snicks. Who the hell came up with that name? Me. P. J. Snicks. Okay. Skins backwards. Potato skins. All different dips and sauces on great big. Well, that would have stuck in people's head easy. They would remember that. Another one was a. Uh, oh. But 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 the simplicity of the name. Another was just pure profit. Hot dogs. We had Dogs Palace. We had thirty different names for that. Dogs but, Place. But, but these are not roadkill hot dogs. These are good I mean, hot dirty, dogs. Dirty dogs. Uh, hot diggity dog. No, it's too long. We want to show dirty dogs. We had so many. That was that. We had uh, oh, it was hundreds. We had hundreds in our menu file. Nobody's had them. Not the basics. Chicken. We had a new chicken franchise I wanted to open. Playing all those girls. You've heard of the group Dixie Chicks. Dixie Chicken. You know the place in I think Delaware called Cluck You. Yeah, this is Dixie Chicken. Dixie As a play on words. Dixie yeah. Chicken. That's a great name. It's a you, great name. You know what I had only once? Uh, the fa I guess it's famous in Texas. Church's Chicken. That's a that's an old one. They've been around a long time. They've been around since I was a And the big kid. one down south is Bojangles. They're very good. Yeah. But you know what? Church's Chicken. It was good. I got I gotta say it, it was good. good. But it wasn't Popeyes. Maybe because I like spicy. That's probably what it is. No. But 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 I'll eat it again if I saw one. The church is but it's old. They've been around a long time. Yeah, I'm surprised. Uh, you know where to, well, you know where I had it? By Times Square in Midtown Manhattan. At church's chicken. Yeah, but there's there's none around here. I think they would do well, to be honest with you. Well, maybe they don't want to go too big. I had the best chicken years ago. My friends uh, they owned a, a phenomenal deli in Ridgewood. Oh, their food was like second to none. Oh, gee. They, when they were catering, they were catering a lot. They were catering this party. But they didn't want to cook their chicken because they got it from this place in Patterson. And they said, "You're going to have chicken like you have never checkers." Tasted. It's checkers. I don't know the name of it. There's a place in Patterson called Checkers. So they said, well, "I went with them." So they gave me one. I was like, "Oh my God!" I told the guy, I "said You got a gold mine here. But why don't you branch out?" You know, the guy was dead on. I don't want to get bigger. I'm happy with my one little storefront. So not everybody wants to grow. Remember that. You know what happened? He said, I just don't yeah. want to get bigger. You know what happened to Polio Tropical, the uh, Cuban from Miami? Probably Fa out of business. Yeah, South Florida? Huge. Then he sold to a corporation yeah, called the Carroll Corporation. Guess what? They cut corners. Yeah. 
oh, every which way they cut corners. But why? Why do some corporations not? I don't understand why you're cutting corners. When I say cut corners, I mean big time. But you're, you're a corporation, you have the funds to open new corners. I don't get it. Now, you would think you would think that they would see the success of this Cuban family-owned business, how, and they would copy exactly what well, he bottom, did. The bottom line is the old saying, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. And penny wise, pound foolish. Well, that doesn't really apply, you know. But you're watching again, short term, long term. You yeah. don't change the formula. Well, if you're going to be, if you're an owner and you want to be a skin flint and you want to cut corners, that's penny wise, pound foolish. These people will get it. But this guy said, yeah. I just don't want to get bigger. Another mystery is why Popeyes doesn't have milkshakes. They just have soda. Because they're stupid. <laughs> I mean, think about it. How many people come in here not for a burger? They get a milkshake. And you know, and you know, White Castle has sweet potato, sweet potato French fries, fried clams, codfish nuggets. Well, why does Wendy's have have baked potatoes and chili? Why don't they have that here on the dollar menu? Why does Burger King offer hot dogs? That's pure profit. Yeah. Well, what, I, what I mean is, White Castle has things that people have no idea they they have, but they don't really advertise much. But they have. They have. That's not good. They have a great breakfast sandwich too, low cost. But these people could have more. They don't do it. I don't know who they hire as executives. But well, this franchise, location-wise, is probably one of the finest locations you can you can have. Yeah, but it's one of the worst to run. It can't get much worse to run. You can't run it, run it much any worse than this. No, the, it's, it's just bad. It's I think maybe maybe the franchise owner is too dependent on location and not quality and service. No, I just think he doesn't know what he's doing. Maybe he's just a cheap fucking skin flint. He doesn't. Know. How cheap can you be? He's got 49, 48 other ones. Put some money, a few thousand dollars. Yeah. Come on. Know, maybe he's like Jeff Bezos of Amazon. Maybe he's a scumbag. What did you hear Bezos is a scumbag? He's hiring from agencies, so he doesn't have to pay them uh, the benefits and top dollar. Bezos, are you, are you kidding me? He he's infamous. I've never heard a thing about. Yeah, him. he's infamous. Well, I hope you didn't hear this on one of your computer sites. It's all, I've never it, heard a thing about. There isn't him. there isn't a positive article about him. Wow. B B well, you know about Bill Gates and and Steve Jobs. You know they kind of like, I don't want to say borrow things from others, but. They stole a Zuckerberg of Facebook. Oh, he's a thief. Well, he's also a, he's also a Zionist. What a hawk knows if he got. Oh, he's a thief. He stole from the twins. Yeah. They showed early videos of him with his buddies, and he was smiling from ear to ear, like acting like he's innocent. You know, Facebook was supposed to be. He was. He did it to rape girls on the campus at Harvard. That's all. It well, was. Before Facebook, there was MySpace. That some guy named Tom. He had no brilliant idea. No. I, I was thinking today for some reason about Ray and I standing in the cellar and. They originally numerous nights grabbing napkins because all my right. things kept popping into my the packet or, or I said, why don't we take this would be lady, I said, why don't we take a computer? We could shrink it down to the size of a notebook. Nanotechnology, right? Well, they never had a notebook computer. We were ahead of that game. Uh, all the stuff I want to do was sound, sonics, the whole bit. I talked to scientists and doctors said, my God, it's never been done. And? I forget what all what else I had. Even That's there's, why nobody ever saw my notes. There's nothing, not too much more exciting than science fiction becoming science fact. But I'm just saying how far I had super tech. Well, that's my point. Well, the thing is, super tech was so. Yeah, you got to have to get the that much venture capital. That's a massive yeah, amount of venture of capital. You, you have to have a prospectus, mate. No, my you got to have faith in the people owning it and running it. To have vision. That's what it comes down to. Well, your idea of 24-hour R&D is fantastic. Well, it's no big. That's simple. That's common. You pass sense. the torch. That's common. One sense. shift passes the torch. That's unimportant. That was obvious. I mean, that was. Yeah, but how many companies really have round-the-clock R&D with engineers? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe they do. Maybe IBM's and all of them do. I know Japan probably does. Uh, China, forget it. Well, you're getting off the subject, though. But I'm, I'm thinking about what, I, well, what it was we had at SuperTech, and uh, yeah, I'm oh, talking well. about the international business mindset is different from the American mindset. Yeah, it's not as good either. It's caused a lot of suicides, and they push too hard. Yeah. So uh, that's actually quite true. Stress. I'm trying to think what else we had. God, it was a.
hundreds and hundreds of products. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was thinking of them today, and now I've forgotten them. Well, you had deep scientific, scientific products. Yes. Not just fly-by-night, you know, no. ordinary, you know. Oh, one of them was uh, what just made the uh, weapons systems division. It was what just down in Cuba made all the pe Americans sick in that one place. They think it was sound waves or microwaves. That was in over almost 30 years ago in my notes at Super Tech. Yeah. I said, our weapons systems division, my God. Well, that, that, that's easy. Our cancer research uh, uh, within medical research division. Uh, could you could you imagine if the United States government had a positive attitude towards Nikola, Nikola Tesla and, and offered him all the support he needed and funding? Well, back then they didn't, but he was given a lot by the uh, Anunnaki. Yeah. But what, what happened, J.P. Morgan found out he wanted to create free electricity for the world and he had the tower tor torn down. <coughs> well, that's, we don't know about that. He stopped the funding. Because to this day, they don't know where that black box is. So yeah. Well, you know, know J.P. Morgan wanted, bring, wanted child labor. You know, he was a real demonic, he was a horrible you man. All these guys were. Did you ever look up uh, the Carnegie. Ball compound? Oh, yeah, last night. Oh, I saw the documentary on the core uh -huh. on, uh, on on YouTube. I forget his name, but I know it if he said it. No, no. I would know it. Um, um, what a cigarette uh, sure. Anti-gravity device. No, that's not his name. No, no, I mean, you know, the, 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 the principle of the uh, what he got well, from... What were his last written words? I have mastered anti-gravity. What was his last known photo? A nine-ton block of coral on one finger like this, he's holding it up. Think about that. And they and they examined that photo to be authentic. Well, we know that. But what happened to the black box? Well, I don't know. Nobody. I'm asking you. What happened to the, the black box? We don't know. It's true. It uh, I'm going to go outside. It was, uh huh? You want to stay in? No, I'm going to go with you. Oh. So, you know, this guy. I tell you, anybody who denies climate change now, they're, I'm gonna, I say you're full of shit, man. You're absolutely full of shit. It, this should be like autumn, the leaves should be turning right now at this time of year. I was, I was listening to some, uh, watching some uh, classic 60s rock on uh, YouTube, some music videos. Fantastic, every one of them. Ah, refreshing. Now, why the hell do the buses have to park right in front of the Bananas Comedy Club sign? Isn't it like kind of like intrusive? Uh, or... Oh, really? Well, then they better elevate those signs. No, they're not blocking anything. Yeah, well, I, I, can, I can barely see Banana's sign right from here. Look at that. Barely see, barely see the famous Banana's Comedy Club sign. Look at that. Route 17 South, Hasbro Kites, New Jersey. They should raise the sign. Time, these damn things were considered weeds. Now there's they call ornamental grass, and they sell it. Look at that. Now with now landscapers charge money for this ornamental grass. This has been a Mega Life Twenty One production.